Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Jay, I found a glitch. Go to school, teleport to class, do the class twice, immediately talk to somebody without lowering the table. You'll see what happens next. Winky face. Okay, let us teleport to class. And then let's get our education on. And last time I did this, there was a glitch where it says that I cheated because I did the debug command where I could do this, where I could just increase all my stats automatically. But we did class twice because we are so nice. And now we are gonna talk to a student like so. And there. She's looking like how you would dance to Darude Sandstorm music. And yeah, we got a student spazzing the fuck out while tilting her head like we got some badass breath. So let's talk to her one more time. And that is a pretty cool glitch. Not the coolest glitch that I've seen, but it's still pretty cool. If you guys want to try it out, that's how you do it. On to the next one. I have one. Step one, wait for all the students to enter the school. Step two, 360 no scope the PE teacher via Sans or somebody else. Step three, fast forward time and leave the school. What will the end of day message say? Will it say the PE teacher's name? Well, we don't have to kill the PE teacher to see her name, right? We could just take a pic, strike a pose, beautiful. There you go, tilt that head, gorgeous. Okay, rub that chin, girl, that's what I like to see. Okay, let's take a picture of her, send it to Infochan, and her name is Kiyoshi Taiso. She is a gym teacher, she has extensive self-defense training, no additional info is available at this time, but you know what, let's see what happens if I kill her in bad time mode, because she's been a very bad girl! And then, let's fast forward time, like so, and let's see what the police say when they come. The police arrive at school. The police discover the course of Kiyoshi Taiso. Well, there you go. The police know her name, Kiyoshi Taiso. She is the PE teacher, and we didn't get arrested because we are too damn savage. On to the next one. I have one. One, do your favorite glitch. Two, go interact with something. Talk to someone, join a club, or something like that. Can you still interact with something while you're dead alive? Okay, if you guys don't know what my favorite glitch is, it's the one where the delinquent smacks you, and instead of getting game over, you're like in this, like, time standing still loop kind of thing where the delinquent's still following you but you can do whatever you want so let's increase our reputation talk to uh you know what we're gonna talk to this evil skank right here so follow me put his you know what guys i want you to say this one with me we're gonna take out our naifu and then this bitch is life food and they didn't notice us yet but you know what we are gonna hold hands what? and boom let's do this teleport and let's hide behind our favorite slanted table because it's the guts. most awesome favorite fuck! I was too slow. That's my dumbass talking too damn much. Let's try that again. So boom, I, there you I'm go. Gonna oh, teleport. Coming Woo. with me. And this time I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna hide behind the table. Oh yes, I did it! What the fuck? I hid behind the table! No! That's some bullshit too! Alright, grab her hand. I'm not yeah, going go. down Ooh. without a fight. Alright, there we go. Let's hide behind here. Perfect. And now we got smacked. But don't worry, guys. It's not game over yet. We are not in hiding. So the myth was asking, can we interact with things while we are still, you know, in this dead alive mode, basically? So I'm going to try to go to a club. And it's really hard to control it when you're in this glitch. Like, even if you're pressing up, it, like, turns you sideways. That's why I'm running around like a snake doing a zigzag or something. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try to just walk backwards, I guess. Moonwalk Michael Jackson style or something. I'm gonna try going to, what club is this? Can't look at it, you motherfuck. Okay, uh, what club is that? Ah, uh, it's a photography club. All right, we are gonna go to the photography club and see if we can go in there. And it's so ridiculously hard to control myself. Okay, keep going back here. I'm just gonna keep walking backwards. Oh, God, I hope you guys aren't getting a headache. Motion sickness. Uh, talk to her. Greetings. Yes. Okay, join club. Join club. And if you join the photography club, you'll have access to more camera options. Yes, join you it. join the club. And do we have a camera on our neck? Let's see. Yes, we do. But I can no longer move. All right, so that is true. 
you can interact with things, like you can join a club, you can talk to people. Well, actually, let me see if you can talk to people. I know you can join a club for sure, because you guys just saw it right now. But after you join the club, you can no longer move. Can I teleport, actually? Let me see. Teleport. And pull on my camera. Nope, you can't do anything. I can't even pull on my camera anymore. I can't go back to the third-person view around Yandere-chan. But you can join a club for sure. Let me see if I can talk to students or if I could even go into class. Okay, let's do this one more time. Hide behind here. And this time we have a male delinquent who's going to smack us over the head. And there you go. And let me teleport to class. Wait, is this guy smiling? Why the fuck are you smiling, fuck boy? You think it's okay to hit women with a metal pipe? Wow, you're sick. You're a sick fuck, you know that? Let's teleport to class, and let's see if we can take our class. Can we? Nope. Oh, we can't take our class. And this dude has a mullet? Who the hell has a mullet these days? Get a haircut, bro. So no, we cannot go to class while we are in this dead alive mode. Let me see if we can interact with students. All right, ladies. Your main girl is coming over here with another man. Let me see if I can talk to you. It's so ridiculously hard to move. <laughs> the controls are all fucked. Come on. Talk to you. Talk to you. Tell me your name. Okay, I'm trying to talk to the students, but it is not working. Let me see if I can actually kill and if Senpai will notice me. So let's kill. Oh, you can't even kill? That sucks. Okay, so you can't kill, you can't interact with students, you can't go to class while in dead alive mode, but you can join a club. So, there you go. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Can you dismember the PE teacher? Well, the only way to know is if you Thundering. fucking punch this hole! <laughs> Don't go. Ah, damn it, she went over the railing. Motherfuck. Okay, take Thundering. two in this bitch! <laughs> ah! Yes! Alright, we're good. We can drag her. Actually, let's pick her PE teaching ass up and then bring her over to the garden area. And she is about to get butchered like a cow at a slaughterhouse. So take the circular saw and let's dismember that ass. <laughs> this for all the times you made me run the mile every week. <laughs> and I know nobody liked running the mile in PE class, but there you go. She is dismembered. She is wearing a schoolgirl outfit. Let me see that head. Give me that head. Yeah, we got the teacher's head. And I'm pretty sure that we can put her inside of a cello case, right? Let me check that out. Let's join the light music club while we are a Falcon Yandere. Greetings. Join club? Yes, ma'am. You have joined the club. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for this big ass cello case. So let's wear that. And let's try to put the teacher's body inside of this cello case. Okay, now the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab this head like so. And let me see that head one more time. Damn, girl. That's not a way to get ahead in life. Insert that. And there you go. PE teacher is inside of the cello case. The thing that gets me is that they always happen to have the schoolgirl uniform on. It would have been so funny if you can dismember a dude. And then he ends up having a schoolgirl uniform on too. But yes, you can dismember a PE teacher. And you can also put it in the cello case. On to the next one. You can hide the delinquent and get a cool glitch. One, kill Midori Gurenu and pick her up. Two, get the delinquent to chase you. Three, Teleport to game room and hide immediately at a hiding spot while you still pick her up. Four, the delinquent will not chase or hit you. Five, quit hiding and go to any teacher while still picking Midori Gurin up. Six, run and see what happens. Okay, that was a very long process, so I am going to be confused a little bit as I do this. So I have to pick up the knife, and then I got to kill Midori Gurin. And then I pick her up. I don't drag her, I pick her up. So where's the pickup option? Why is it only saying I can drag her? What in the shit stain is this? Uh, hold on, guys. Okay, there you go. I forgot to increase my physical education in class. But now we have carried her, so now we need to get the delinquent's attention. Okay, let's get their attention. I'm just gonna inch closer. There you go. Okay, go! And open it! Open it! Fuck! Open it! Open it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Fuck, fuck, fuck! It would not open when I tried to open the damn door! You gotta be kidding me! Alright, I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna make sure the door is open so that little mishap doesn't happen again. Let's do this. Okay, take two, man. Let's what? do this. Teleport. And then I need to hide behind the table. Like so. And I still have her on my back? What the fuck? <laughs> She's just lounging on my back. You comfortable, Midori? Shit! 
Damn, that must be like the most comfortable position ever. She is just chilling. Look at her. Hold on, let me try to get uh, zoom in on her face. Look at that face. That is the face of pure relaxation. Okay, let me see what the myth wants me to do next. The delinquent will not chase or hit you. Quit hiding and go to any teacher while still picking Midori up. Run and see what happens. Okay, so I need to quit hiding. Oh, shit. There's uh, Pippi and Ryoto. I hope they don't see me. I don't think they're gonna see me. Yeah, they just walk right past me. Wow, they think that we're just chilling. Okay, anyway, let's go to any teacher and see what happens. So this is the closest teacher. Come on, come on, come on. No, All right, there you go. Be. Go, 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 no, go, go. It can't be. No, it can't be. Are they chasing me? Hold on. Oh, oh shit, you are chasing me. What the Why fuck? Would do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is so freaking epic. Oh. Right away. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> the teacher climbed on top of my back and was just riding me like a damn amusement park ride. And then the delinquent got me, of course. I want to try that one more time. I kind of want to teleport around the school with the teacher on my back. That is sick. All right, let's get the teacher's attention real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Open it. No, it there you go. Be. Okay, no, let's teleport right be. here. And then I'm going to wait for her to ride the top of our head. This there you go. Why would anyone do this? I'll call the police immediately. The okay, High let me make sure the delinquent doesn't get us. Right away. Uh, cause he comes out of nowhere. Oh wait, what the hell? Get back on top of us! Yeah, there you go. Look at this, guys. We got the Terminator teacher keeping patrol for the delinquents on us. We are carrying Midori like she is our little baby. And this is an epic glitch. I loved it. It was hilarious. It was fun. It was really cool. Thank you for showing me that. On to the next one. Hold on real quick, guys. I showed the camera to the teacher and she was like posing for us. What the hell, you crazy ass bitch? There's a dead body right here and you're posing for the camera? This ain't GQ, girl. This ain't Playboy. What are you posing for? Okay, strike that pose, cutie. She thinks she's all cute. Let me pick this body up one more time. Let me see if she rides the top of my head. And does she? Come on, ride me. Ride me. Ride the top of me. Well, whatever. We know that she rides on the top of us. I just pointed the camera at her and she started posing. I just wanted to show you guys that. But for real, on to the next one. Kidnap Kakona, bring her sanity to zero. Give her a weapon. Will Kakona kill herself? Okay, the only reason why I'm featuring this myth is because people ask it a lot. And I thought it would be, you know, self-explanatory that Kakona will kill herself. She won't kill any other student if you bring her as a mind slave. But I'm going to show you guys here right now so I can debunk it once and for all. I could have sworn I did it a long time ago, but apparently it's still being asked till this day. So I am going to show it right now. And this will be the official debunking of the Kakona mind slave myth. All right, Kakona's sanity is at 10%, so we're gonna torture her for four more hours because that is basically the equivalent of 10% torturing time. And now, we are gonna bring her to school, and this will be the last of Kakona the Mind Slave. So let's bring her to school. Damn, the rope can't even contain her big old tatas. That is crazy. So which one are we gonna give her? Let's give her the box cutter, and let's see if this works once and for all. So there you go, guys. She is now winding up the box cutter to impale her own forehead. She's not killing any other student. She's about to do it, and bam! Done. Kakona the Mind Slave kills herself when you bring her to school. She doesn't kill any other student. Hopefully that answers a lot of people asking this question. And what the fuck? The gym teacher is pressing her foot against Kakona's body. That is so fucked up. But anyway, hopefully that answers you guys' question. On to the next one. I have one. One, kill someone and make the police come. Two, give a mind slave a weapon before the police comes. Time it perfectly. Three, if the mind slave does not kill themselves before the police come, will they get arrested? Okay, with that one, I can time it perfectly. So we are going to spawn Sake because she is the mind slave MVP. There you go. And then all we have to do is give her this naifu to end Kakona's laifu like so. And let me speed up time to make this quick. I don't even need to time it perfectly. All I need to do, as soon as she stabs her, I just need to fast forward time. So boom, and fast forward time, and let's go home. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school until any lingering students to leave. The teacher discovers a corpse, and the police arrive. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kakona Haruka. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Kakona Haruka. 
police find the fingerprints of Saki Miyu on the weapon. Saki Miyu is arrested by the police. The police question Yandere-chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. The police believe that they have arrested the perpetrator of the crime. The police investigation ends, and students are free to leave. Yay! So, there's that. If you time it perfectly, you fast forward time as soon as the mind slave kills Kakona, and then the police arrive. She doesn't have time to kill herself, so she becomes arrested instead of the murder-suicide that the police find out if you let the mind slave kill Kakona and then kill themselves. So, there you go. On to the next one. If you falcon punch a student or teacher out of the map, will they still find the body when everyone goes home? That is amazing, and I want to try that out so bad. So we are going to disable, go to my favorite one, falcon punch mode, and we're going to falcon punch her right in her PE teacher it. bad. Uh. Boom! And there you go. She's out of the map. She's not that far of the map, right? Oh, wait, she is. She probably fell through the floor. Okay, so she's no longer here. She's not even in the back of the school. So what we're going to do... Fast forward time, we are going to go home, and let's see if the police can find- What?! It says the teacher discovers a corpse! No way! No freaking way, the police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kyosho Taiso. Where?! Where'd you find the corpse? I want to see evidence! The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere Chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. No way! All right, let me try it with a different student. Let me punch Midori out of the map. All right, Midori, fasten your seatbelts and have a safe flight! Can we punch her out the map? Yes! She is far away from the town, and I'm pretty sure the police can't find her, but you never know. These police, man, they know everything. So we're going to fast forward time, and let's see if they find it. Okay, a teacher discovers a corpse again. Really? The police arrive at school. And the police discover the corpse of Midori Gurin. Okay, so the police can find the body even if you punch them outside of the map. It doesn't even matter where they go. As long as you kill someone, the police will find them. On to the next one. Okay, so I found a really, really, really creepy glitch. Oh, you really, really, really did? One, make sure it's Monday. Two, get a guy to follow you. Three, wait for Kakona's call. Four, get the guy to stand right next to Kakona to where he is up against her. Five, Teleport to the roof and pour water on them. If you did this right, they should both have a dark shade of gray for clothes. Six, go to class. Seven, find the guy and you'll see. This is the weirdest shit I've seen. We are going to fast forward time and we need to get a guy to follow us. So you know what? We're going to get Blondie over here. We're going to get him to follow us. And then we have to wait for Kakoni's phone call. Okay, here's Kakona on her phone call. Come on. I told press you up not against to her. call me when I'm at school. All right, come on, press up like against I her. Said, that was a one-time thing. Ah, shit! I don't come on, come on. Do that again. I need to get him pressed up on her. Where are you going, dude? Why'd you run around like that? Did you say? Okay, let's do this. Well, Damn it, you son of a bitch! Oh my god, this guy keeps running around like a little fuck. Come on, the oh, phone call's about to end. Okay, there you go. Let's teleport to the roof and pour it, pour it. Yes! Come on, come on! Oh! Got him! Do they have gray clothes? Hold on, let me see if they have gray clothes. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I can't even tell if they would have gray clothes or not. I mean, is it a darker shade than what it normally is? I don't know. It looks the same to me. All right, there. He's pressed up against her, so let's teleport. And then carry this and pour that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I did it! They're both gray! really just throw water all right, let me go down there. I want to see what they look like. That was cool. I saw the color of their clothes change. Wait, what the? Oh, they both ran. What the fuck? <laughs> this is cool. What in the world? Look at this shit. What the fuck? Hold on, stop it. Stop running. I'm going to take a picture of you like so. Wow, that is cool. Okay, um, we are going to go to class. And then we have to find the blue haired guy. So let's put some stats in here. And blue haired guy is not in our class. But Kakona is right across from us. Let's see what she looks like. Whoa! There he is! Awesome! He's just a floating blue head! Actually, he's not even a head. He's just floating hair. Floating blue hair and eyes. What the fuck? That is so cool. Okay, let me look at him. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Can I talk to him? <laughs> What's up, floating hair? Can you follow us? And yes, the floating hair can follow us. What about Kakona? 
What does she look like? Okay, there's Kakona. She's not invisible like the other guy, but she is still in her little gym uniform thing. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is the glitch on how to make a student disappear. It's not really creepy. It's more fascinating to me, but it is awesome to see just some floating blue hair and some blue eyes. If you guys want to try it out, just follow the steps that were listed in this myth. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below and I will choose the most creative and unique ones but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude